whilst it may be you know, propagated as a fringe party in the public arena, it's far from the truth. I know what the truth is, and I'm willing to, over a period of time, let that truth precipitate. Well, what's and, the truth of this? Well, the truth is that the freedoms of movement, speech, and thought were yeah. massively compromised. Yeah, but that, that's the core principles which I think we would most people would agree on, which is smart that you're running on that, and yep. you should. But in terms of the people that the, your party is now associating with, they've been associated with some pretty... They might be out there screaming about sovereign citizens and how the law doesn't apply to us because the government is a corporation. Well, a lot of those, And the rest of us are like, what the Yeah, F's? but a lot of them don't associate with us. Like, they haven't joined the Freedom Party. So I think we've actually, we've had this filtration process where we've actually been able to sort the wheat from the chaff. And we've actually got decent candidates. I mean, there's there's not a candidate that we've selected in the public arena that I wouldn't be proud to stand next to at a press conference, knowing who they are and what they've achieved. But a huge realisation for me in the last 12 to 18 months was how little Victoria knew and understood about politics, how how little they were engaged. I mean, you've got some upper house members there who have no idea how they were elected. Uh, I mean, this is the reality of it. Rob well this, well, this is it. You're... All they know is the invoice from jury came in and they paid it. That's, that's Well, that's it. And, 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 and you, t- you sit down and talk to some of these people. I'm thinking, you've been in this game for 10 years and you, you don't, actually don't understand the internal machinations. You go to the street, you door knock, they have no idea of the issues generally, what's going on, you know, and, and maybe mainstream TV and reality TV has numbed their brains in terms of the real <laughs> issues. I don't know what it is, but... I, uh, Victoria has largely been disengaged politically, and they probably have good reason for that. You know, I knew there was a problem when someone came to me. I was not allowed to change the fluoro bulb, okay, because of OHS. Yeah, okay. So I ordered in QBuild. QBuild came in. They got the ladder. They got the check. Oh, Two guys. They had the, the tape out. They left an invoice that was paid on the desk that was paid for by them, $330. To change a fluoro light bulb. This was in 2010. It's probably pretty high up. They got a ladder and stuff, right? How many Q-Bell workers does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> so, you talk, so $330 yeah, for a $6 tube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that was 10 years ago. So can you imagine what's happening oh, on the large yeah. scale? Yeah.